Hello my sewing friends, it's Corinne at The Sewing Works and today we're going to be working on wrapping up the Janet Collins ruler bag with the reverse appliques I showed in a video last month. And so today I'm giving you a ton of features. I'm going to show you how to make a handle a, or a strap using cotton fabric and fusible woven. I'm also going to show you how to do a French seam. And last but not least, I'm gonna bring out my binder attachment, which many of you know I love dearly, my number 88, 38 millimeter binder attachment to finish the top of the bag, and it will also attach my handle. So come on over to the sewing machine with me. The Janet Collins Patterns calls for a four inch strip of fabric to make your handle out of. And on the wrong side of the fabric, I'm going to put down my fusible woven. If you've never adhered this before, it always works best if you spritz it with a little bit of water before you adhere it. So I'm just going to give it a little squirt squirt. And then after I let it soak in, I'm going to iron that dry and adhere it at the same time. One more step I want to show you before we get to sewing is to use your iron to go ahead and press this in half lengthwise just to give yourself a crease line. And then you can unfold that and you're gonna bring each of the edges into the center. Now we're at my sewing machine and I've got my favorite foot, number 10 D on, and I'm going to adjust my stitch length and my needle position. So first of all, stitch length, I'm gonna do some top stitching. So I like to top stitch at about three. and my needle, I'm gonna bump two clicks to the left. I prefer to start my strip on the side that has the fold. So I'm gonna put those two folds together and here we go. Okay, cut my threads and now I'm going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on the opposite edge so that they match. Now let's talk about French seams. If we were just going to sew this bag closed, we would sew it right sides together and these raw edges would be on the inside of our bag. Since we want the inside of our bag to be prettier than that, we are going to actually sew it together with the wrong sides of the fabric together first with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Then we'll flip it the other way and do a half inch seam allowance so that this seam allowance will be encased inside the bag. Okay, it's starting to look like a bag. So you can see how that French seam leaves the finished edge on the inside. And then I also boxed my corners. They were calling for a one inch box. I decided to do a three inch box so that hopefully I can fit two thread bags in here or thread cases. Next, we're gonna do the binding and attach the strap. Now I have my handle pinned on each side. So it goes, starts on kind of the front left and goes to the back right side of my bag. And I have my half inch binding strip cut. I've got my binder attachment on. 
You cut the strip at an angle to get it kind of fed in here. And you want to leave a little bit of a tail for yourself. I'm using the free arm of my machine to kind of feed this on here. And then I want that binding strip to completely encompass the top of my bag. Next, we're gonna go needle position over probably four clicks for this one. I've got dark blue thread top and bottom. And I apologize, you're not straight on with the needle. I've got a lot of stuff to juggle here with the camera. Maybe three clicks will work. So with this, I'm just putting inward pressure right here at the bag. And then I'm making sure that my strip is being sewn on nice and smooth into the binder attachment. Make sure I'm catching the back side. Yep, okay, here we go. So I'm coming around here to my other end and my strip was just long enough. But what I'm gonna do is I actually took the binder attachment and swung it out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this binding over the first part of my binding. And when I do that, I'm going to want to have this edge be finished. So I'm going to fold this last little bit under so that we have a finished edge. You'll see that as it comes into the camera view here. Fabric glue, pins, all those tools are helpful when you're using the binder attachment. If I miss any stitches here on the inside, because this is a thick spot going over this seam, I'll just hand sew that last little bit in. Trying to pull that outer piece of binding over as much as I can. and end it with a back stitch. All right, there you have it. I've got my binding on. I did have to do just a hair hand sew at the very end where it overlapped on the inside. Oops, I've got a hijack thread. And here is my darling tote. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a couple of fun tips. And next time you see me, I'm sure I'll have this loaded. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.